السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں اللہ پیس مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگ بی اپن آل آف یو مائی فرینڈس ٹوڈے آئی ایم چیکنگ اے ٹاپک اباؤٹ دا رائٹس آف چلڈرنس ان اسلام مائی فرینڈس مسلم ریکارڈ چلڈرنڈ ایز اے گفٹ آف اللہ فرام دا اسلامک پوائنٹ آف ویو اے چائلڈ از بسٹور اپن ہیز پیرنٹس فرام دا اللہ المائٹی ایز اے ٹرسٹ امانا With this trust come responsibility. My friends, the responsibility of a parent includes providing the child with a living environment in which he or she can feel safe and able to develop his or her individuality to achieve the best that life can offer. My friends, The Quran is stated in Surah Al-Furqan, chapter 25, verse 74. And they who say, O our Lord, grant us, wives and our offspring, the joy of our eyes, and make us guide to those who guard against evil. My friends, the most distinctive characteristic of the true servant is their eagerness for prayer of to Allah. Their prayer for their wives and children have been cited. Our Lord make our wives and children true believer so that they should practice righteousness and become a source of comfort for us. My friends, their prayer shows that the true servants of Allah are more concerned about salvations of their beloved ones in the hereafter than the enjoyments of the world. My friends, Islam paid a, a special attention to children and the Islamic Sharia stated that children have rights and duties toward towards the parents. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave parents certain obligation to assure children's right. The first, children's pre-birth right. The child has a right to be protected from the shaitan and this happened when putting the father's sperm into mother's womb. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu told all Muslim about a dua they should performing during sexual intercourse which protects the fetus from the shaitan. Ibn Abbas ta'ala anha reported that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said if anyone of you intends to go to his wife says in the name of Allah O oh Allah, protect us against the shaitan and keep away the shaitan from that you have bestowed upon us. And if it is destined that they should have a child, then shaitan will never be able to harm him. Second, child's right to life. My friends, the child have a right to life which includes a fetus after having taken shape or insolment. Abortion is allowed if the mother's life is in danger. Otherwise, Islam prohibits abortion. The fetus has a right to life and it is haram to harm or hurt it. My friends, additionally, The Islamic Sharia permits pregnant women not to fast in the holy month of Ramadan for the sake of the fetus health. Third, children's post-birth rights. Good when they are born. After delivery, calling azan and iqama in its ear. Among the children's post-delivery right is calling the azan in newborn right ear and the iqama in the left ear. One hadith, Abu Rafi, Razalah ta'ala anha, who said, 
I saw the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, calling Azan in the ear of Hussain ibn Ali Ta'ala Anha when Fatima Ta'ala Anha gave birth to him. Fourth, putting chewed dates in a newborn's mouth. Another post delivery rite of children is putting well chewed date in the mouth of newborn. Abu Musa Razalatualana said, I had a son and I brought him to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and he named him Ibrahim. He chewed up a date and gave it to him and made supplication for him to be blazed and then give him back to me. The fifth, one of a newborn's right is shaving newborn's head hair and giving the weight of that shaved hair as a charity in silver. Mahaban ibn Ali ibn al Husayn reported, that Fatima Ta'ala Anha, the daughter of Allah's Messenger وسلم, waited the shaved hair of Al Hassan and Hussain Ta'ala Anha and paid silver equal to the weight of the hairs as charity. Sixth, custody and spending. One of the children's basic right to be fulfilled by the parents are custody and spending money on them. Allah's Messenger وسلم, says, Every one of you is a caretaker and is responsible for his consignment. The ruler is a caretaker of pupil and is responsible for his subject. A man is a caretaker of his family and is responsible for them. A woman is a caretaker of her husband's house and children and is responsible for them. A slave is a caretaker of his master's property and is responsible for it. My friends, the seventh point, taking care of children sentimentally and emotionally. Children should be taken care of sentimentally by doing well to them, having mercy upon them, fun and bantering with them. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, kissed Al Hassan ibn Ali in the presence of Al Akra ibn Habiz. Akra ibn Habiz said, I have 10 children and I have never kissed any of them. Allah's messenger cast a look at him and said, Whoever is not merciful to others will not be treated mercifully. My friends, the seventh, the eighth point is good educations. One of children's right is the good educations. Parents are obliged to see to their religious training proper educations and training in sports and self-defense on their children. One hadith, Abu Daud, Book of Prayer, 495. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says, command your children to pray when they become seven years old and beat them for it when they become ten years old. My friends, Allah command us in Surah At-Tahreem, chapter 66, verse 6. O oh, you have believed, protect yourself and your own families from a fire whose fuel is mankind and as stones. My friends, these words tell us that a person's responsibility is not confined to making effort to save himself from the punishments of God, but it is also his responsibility that he should so educate and also train to the best of his ability member of his family, children, to become Allah's favorite servant. His concern should not only be that 
His children should lead a happy and prosperous life in this world. But more than that, he should be anxious to see that they do not become fuel of hell in the hereafter. My friends, children have the right to generate purity. They also have a right to life, which includes a fetus after having taken shape or insolvent. Abortion is allowed if the mother's life is in danger. However, each child has the right to legitimacy and a good name. Each has the right to shelter, maintenance, and health care. Mother are obliged to, um, to breast, breastfeed each child for at least two full years. They also have the right to financial security. They must not show preference of sons and separations or negligence of daughter. Okay, my friends, see you again with some new topic. Allah Hafiz.